Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I feel like I've been gone from this game even for just a month. Uh, for like 10 years, because in the span of my uh, channel's history, it was the longest I'd ever been away. And so, because of that, there are just certain things I noticed and I go, Oh my gosh, how did I miss that? How did I, how did I miss that? How did I not do a video on this? Maybe this changed during July 4th sales when I was in the hospital, I don't know. But... This is at store.playcontestofchampions.com, and this is on my main account, the Deadpool's Milestone Track. Gain market points by purchasing offers on the Summoner's Market, and get extra bonus point items from Deadpool's Milestone Track. Ends on August 9th. Okay, so, um, I think $1 equals one market point. This is the end of it. There's 12 steps. So, 10 bucks gets you a two-star Deadpool and a three-star Deadpool. I mean, obviously, that's uh, nothing to write home about when you've got a main account like this. Then a four-star Deadpool for 20 bucks. All right, fine. Five-star Deadpool for 50 bucks plus a uh, Deadpool profile pick. Interesting. Five-star mutant rank-up gems. Again, unless I'm missing something, and maybe I am, that's 75 bucks. Six star Deadpool for 100 bucks. How many of you use Deadpool every day or even every week or every month? I, I don't. He's one of those trophy champions that I think actually, even though we've seen some buffs to him over the years, he should still be better. He should still be somebody that kind of like we're talking about now with Doctor Strange... You land on and you just think, oh, I am going to take the rest of the day off. I have won the Marvel Contest of Champions lottery. But that is not the case when you acquire him, especially because he's not in crystals. Then you have a six-star market rank up for 150 bucks, And then 200 bucks gets you a six-star Wolverine. Now, Wolverine is somebody who, like Deadpool, needs to be awakened and ideally at a max SIG. So... If you want to give a champion like this away, you've got to add some six, six stones and awakening gems to this. And so when you go through this, Paragon Mutant Nexus Crystals. Really? Like, I can see this as a bonus, but not for the milestone in itself. And then you get six Mutant Nexus points for 300 crystals, and this is where you start to think, is there going to be a seven star involved? Well, wait and see. Because you get the 7-star Mutant Nexus Crystal plus a Rank Up Gem, or as they call it here, a Rug. Did you know Rank Up Gem was now called the Rug? Because I feel like I had the Rug pulled out from under me. I, I definitely didn't. And then here is the 7-star Deadpool plus the Rank 2 to Rank 3 7-star Rank Up Gem. Again, if you have someone else like Domino... Assuming this is for all mutants and not just a seven-star Deadpool, but five hundred bucks for this, five hundred bucks, and then a seven-star Deadpool Awakened, I guess, plus a friend selector for seven hundred and fifty points. I know Kabam is desperate to get more money. All mobile games are; they probably are laying off people or making a strategic cuts like they maybe did in the past few months with uh, certain employees. But I just don't see this as a, vo a volatile way to do it. You need Awakening Gems, not just double seven stars. You need six stones, and you need the economy of the game to get cheaper, not more expensive. That's my takeaway, at least. I don't know how I missed it, but I'm now covering it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.